I used to love it when I got asked for ID. It doesn't happen anymore, sadly. No, it wouldn't, would it? <laughs> when did it happen most recently? Um, oh, jeez. Oh, four years ago, maybe? Five, <laughs> Oh, it's only four. It's not so long ago. You probably still get asked, Anika, do you? I, yeah, I get asked for ID sometimes. Because um, you're... You follow yeah, yeah. Not so much anymore. Not with this haggle. <laughs> neck, not with this neck that stands out. Um, no, I actually, you know, when you go uh, to the supermarket and they, you're like, you just nonchalantly put your bottle away and down and then you're like, I know they're going to come over and try and make on t- eye contact with me. So I always just look down and then they're like, <laughs> hello, how are you? And then they kind of pop their head under. And they go, like, sorry, I just need to see your eye wrinkles and yeah. see how old you are. And, wrinkly. I, and then I just, and then I just, don't smile so my wrinkles don't come up and then they're like are you over 18 oh. <laughs> nah just jokes but it is annoying a little bit well not, not only does it happen at the supermarket i've seen this happen with a lot of people at the supermarket but it's starting to happen at the movies now famous uh, new zealand actor peter elliott he's amazing he posted on facebook i don't know if this is public knowledge i don't know it's on it's just, facebook you're one of his friends <laughs> one of his friends yes uh, he says seriously what the how have we come to that parents cannot bring their 18-year-old son to a movie without ID for an R15 movie? So he turned up with his son, who was 18, wanted to go and see this movie uh, with the son, but because the son didn't have ID to prove that he was over 15, they couldn't go and watch it. Yeah, no, they're really intense about movies uh, lately, I've noticed. Uh, 13, you can't go to them without ID, which, you know, 13-year-olds don't tend to carry around ID. But no. some people, yeah, have issues in another way of being uh, older but not looking it and or needing the ID. Sometimes you can't even buy wine if there's someone with you who's underage. Oh, or- and I saw this the other day in the supermarket. Three ladies looked well into their, I hope they're not listening, looked well into their <laughs> 40s. <laughs> they were getting their bubbles and their wine. They got to the counter and... And one of them did not have their ID. And of course she was of, you know, legal age, but he yeah. wouldn't sell them any alcohol at all. The rules are really strict on this. And she was like, oh, well, okay, then the alcohol's not for me. These two will just pay for it. Yeah. And he goes, I can't do that anymore. So she had to go all the way back home to get her ID. And as she walked out of the supermarket, he started putting the goods that she had bought into the trolley. <laughs> she was like, no, you can leave them right there. You can hold up that till for the 40 minutes it's going to take me to go home and get oh. my ID. She had an ID issue.